everyone, got a brand new movie review for you guys today, and today I'm discussing Bohemian Rhapsody. Ready, Freddy? Let's talk about it. Bohemian Rhapsody chronicles the life of Freddie Mercury leading up to the Live Aid concert. Of course, this film was one of my most anticipated films for the rest of the year. One being, I'm a big Queen fan. Two being, Queen's one of the best bands ever made. And three being, it has stars Remy Malek, one of the most underrated talents who's still coming up in today's age. He's very young in his filmography, so it was cool to see that he's going to play Freddie Mercury in here. This film made me realize three things. One, I'm so jealous I will never, ever be able to see Queen live, especially with Freddie Mercury singing. Rest in peace, man. You are where a talent. Two, it made me appreciate Queen even more. Three, Remy Malik is going to be the next Daniel Day-Lewis. You heard it here first. With that last statement, I should probably address some big performance in here. I mean, the movie does not work without your lead performance being excellent. And I think Remy Malik pushes his film above excellency because of how well he transformed into Freddie Mercury. I mean, in a sense, Mercury would be so proud to see this movie. He'd be so happy because he's represented so well in this movie. And Remy Malik understood that he knew if he couldn't do it right, then what's the point of even doing this kind of movie? And he embodied him in every ounce of the way, his mannerisms, his singing, the way that he just was. You watch any live concert, any interview with Mercury, you see that. And Remy Malik just embodied him, not in just the way that he he looked but again within his mannerisms his energy his charismatic love and just you can tell he had so much passion going into this person and it just you feel it I, I in a sense i'll even go as far as say i don't see why you should even have a best actor category at the oscars this year because you mail him the award at this point because mal killed it he transformed in it and there was not one point in this movie where i was like oh that's remy mal no that that is that is freddie mercury you brought him back to life in some way shape or form every other performance in here really works to tooth and nail everyone just brings their a game especially might i say mike myers in a very small role that I hope to see later on the role that he does just to do more stuff. I miss you, Mike Myers. If you're watching this review, please do some more movies. I miss you, dude. It was nice seeing you in Bohemian Rhapsody. And one of the most brilliant parts about Bohemian Rhapsody was the way that the story was told and the way that it chronicles Freddie Mercury's life. You get to learn more about him and just who he was as a person. There were some things that I would have liked to be touched on a little bit more of, and I even think the film could have even benefited from being even a little bit longer. I think you could have added maybe 25 more minutes. Maybe that's just me, but the pacing was so so fast especially within the first act where at times i will be admit the first act is a little choppy but it got better and better and better which is probably the more beneficial thing to have within a movie is to have the film get better as it goes on and not get worse as it goes on the reason i feel like the first act kind of was a little too fast it wanted to get us to the queen moment i wanted to get a little bit more of mercury's home life and to get and establish his family life in a sense we didn't get much of that and i feel like the film could have tackled that a little bit more with his family and even with the bandmates i think we could have tackled more elements of them because as great as the bandmates are you don't know much about them um they're very surface leveled in this movie and very one note the performances are great and when they're getting emotional they're getting emotional but you never get to know more about them. And I understand this is a Freddie Mercury biopic, but they're a part of the story. They're a part of his family in a sense. You want to know a little bit more about them. This is a Freddie Mercury biopic. One of the best things about the film is the way that it is a coming of age story for a guy. It's a really heartfelt story of a guy who's just trying to find himself in this world. We'll go through these parts of our lives where we just want to find out who we really are. And in a sense, Mercury is finding himself within this story. He's going through the motions you know there's a big thing of him being gay and it is tackled in such a heartfelt and passionate way within this movie that i was so appreciative to see it because i didn't know how much they were going to tackle it and they tackled it very well and i think that's what one of these kind of his stories is it's a coming out story it's a coming of age story in a sense for freddie mercury himself and getting to know more about him getting to know about the man himself and understanding him more as it leads up to the finale it gives one of the best third acts in any film just mostly because it's just building up to this ferocious concert live aid that they recreated to perfection i mean to perfection i've watched real life footage of this before on youtube and it was great to see what they show here and how they recreated i don't know how they did but man there has to be some acclaim for all the cast and crew involved on that part bohemian rhapsody it chronicles freddie mercury's life and in a in a sense this film is a champion of its own it will rock you 
and it's something different. It redefines a lot of the musical biopics that we have seen before, and I think touches it in a lot of great ways. This is easily one of the best performances in a long, long time. And man, I'll be shocked if he does not win, and especially if he does not get nominated. Malik is bloody brilliant as Freddie Mercury. I loved Bohemian Rhapsody, even with the small nitpicks that I do have with it. It is the biggest recommendation I can give to Queen fans, to biopic fans, and to musical fans of all alike. Even if you're not a big Queen fan, I think this film is worth checking out. So with all that said, I'm going to give Bohemian Rhapsody an A. Film is great, and I can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts on the movie. So comment down below and tell me what your thoughts are on Bohemian Rhapsody. Are you excited for it? Let's talk about it down below. And guys, tell me what is your favorite Queen song. Let's discuss it right down there as well. Uh, personally, my favorite is another one, Bite the Dust. I love listening to that song. I listen to it every single day, and it's just one of those songs that you can just get down to. But don't get me wrong, Bohemian Rhapsody, that song is... It's a classic. You gotta listen to it. Also, guys, if you guys are new here and you guys want to check out some movies early, go hit up Sandwich on Films also down below because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie scenes. You can check out some movie news and even some movie reviews. But, guys, of course, until next time, stay classy.